with you guys. Thank you for tapping in with me again today. And if you're new to the channel, I'm Cleveland. So I got a treat for you guys. So this is a response video. I want to thank Tracy, Theo, and Kevin for helping me out with this video. So in the last video, matter of fact, a couple of videos ago, I said I just got a female flower horn. I stand corrected. They woke me up this morning looking at this fish with whole new eyes. And you know what? It is not a female flower horn. It may be mixed with the fire horn. I'm not quite sure we're gonna do a real good spotlight. I want Kevin, Theo, and Tracy, I want you all to definitely take a real good look at this fish. And everybody else, I want you all to take a look at this fish. And if you know, drop in the comments what you think it is. Like I said, when I bought it from the store, they said it was a female flower horn. It has the markings of a flower horn, but it don't have the face of it. That's what I thought when I first got it, but you know, sometimes, you know, you, you take the word of the fish store, but um, if somebody dropped them off and they didn't know themselves, that's how I found out the wrong information. So, uh, like Kevin said, you know, misinformation. Not lying to, just misinformation. Thank you for telling me that. <laughs> Thank you for pointing that out. But, let's take a look at this beautiful fish. It's nonetheless, it's a beautiful fish. I am happy with it nonetheless. I would like to know what it is. <laughs> I mean, don't we all want to know what we have in our aquariums? So I would like to know what it is, but, if we can't figure it out, you know? And as far as sex and Kevin, no, I don't know how to uh, sex fish. Some fish I do, but I don't know how to check for the, I don't know how to bend fish or do anything like that. If you could tell me if on this video, if you could drop in the comments how I could potentially sex that fish, let me know. That'd be helpful, we'll find out. I'll, once I find out, I, as a matter of fact, I'll make a video of me doing it. You pointed out to me on how to do it, I'll make a video on doing it, and we'll find out together. But, uh, Anyway, so let's take a look at this beautiful fish and then I'm gonna let you guys go. I'll have some work that I wanna do today inside of this, inside this fish room. I really wanna get the pool set up. So um, I've been telling you, I've been hinting around that I'm gonna make it a little bit different. I basically will tell you guys a little bit about it. In another video, let's take a look at the fish. Let's start off with throwing some pellets in there. See if he or she wants to eat. There goes some pellets. There she go. Look at the colors on this fish. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. It might be a male. Whatever kind of fish it is, it might be a male. You see that, that forehead? What you guys think? Nonetheless, like I've said, it's a beautiful fish. Truly beautiful fish. And as you see, I took out the gold based fader flower horn. Because it was definitely just kind of problematic. Just wanted to fight with everybody. So now with these three fish in here, this one right here, the red tiger moto and the red at a bapo, they swim around a lot more. Let's get some more uh, let's get some more pellets in there. The red at a bapo still hasn't eaten yet. Meanwhile the other one is growing, eating real good, all that. More pellets, let's throw some more pellets in there. But you know, I do see a VA high in there. In the face, I definitely see VA high. I just never seen a VA high with these patterns. The only fish I've seen with patterns like this are flower horn. But that's why I love this hobby and I love being able to share this stuff with you all. And you all be helping me a lot. I always say that. So help me out with this one. What do you think this fish is? Aside from a, from aside from beautiful, <laughs> aside from being a beautiful fish, look at the blue on the on the on the gills. Let's take a look at. Let's take a look at. Let's take a look at the red devil real quick. 
that I moved out, that I moved back into the 240, I'll show you how he's doing. And then we'll also take a look at the flower horn and I'll show you where I moved him to. All right, let's take a look. It's the Red Devil. Doing good. Happy to be back. Start some pellets in there for him. Not really fighting with the dough by or anything. Put some pellets in. See them all eat. When the fish eat, you know they happy. You know they're not stressed. That little jingle was my uh, was my washing machine. But yeah, so you see how he's up in there eating? That's always a good sign. No aggression. Aside from the little scuffs that they have every now and then, but look at this fish. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All right, happy. So we just seen two happy fish. Let's go check out the flower horn. All right, here's the flower horn. Let's try some pellets in here for him. All right, let's see if he'll eat on camera with the light on. Come on, stop playing. All right. Hit you with the light. I'll come back when he want to stop acting shy, but here he is. Been digging a hole, so it might be a female. I thought it was a male, but what you think? It's another question. It's another question mark right here. Come on now. I just fed him right before I started the video. That might be the reason why he don't want to eat, but he's so fat that I would assume that he would definitely want to eat those pellets anyway, regardless of the light being on, regardless of me feeding him four or five pellets earlier. Come on. Go ahead. Just drop that food in for you. Yeah. Acting all funny and stuff because I'm over here with the light. I'll probably just start leaving the light on him so that way when I do cut on the light when I'm recording, he won't get all bashful like how he is. But anyway, trust he's cool. He's good. And I don't need to take the pellets out. I'm pretty sure he's going to eat those as soon as I walk away. All right. All right, y'all. So that's all I have for you. Thank you again for tuning in with me. Thank you, Kevin, Theo, and Tracy for being an inspiration for this video. I appreciate it. I will start doing more videos like this in the future instead of me doing it. Then I'm going to start going live. But until then, you know, I do like the little response to the questions and things like that. Um, so, yeah. So if you got some questions that's good enough, I'll make a video on it. So I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.